Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. Now the sodium potassium ATPase pump sits within the membranes of all the cells of your body and it plays an extremely important role in keeping you alive. In actual fact, the sodium potassium ATPase pump, it's in the name, uses ATP to throw sodium out of the cell and throw potassium into the cell is so important that half of the energy that your brain uses is dedicated simply to this pump. Now, you may be in a biology class or at university learning about this pump not understanding why it's so important. Well, there's a couple of things you need to know. First thing is that when we talk about ions being charged atoms or elements, that you have cations, they're positively charged ions, and anions, negatively charged ions. If we look at the cations, you're gonna find that there's one cation that is the most abundant cation that sits outside the cell, that is sodium. You can see all this sodium sitting outside the cell here. The most abundant intracellular cation is potassium, and you can see all the sodium, uh, sorry, potassium sitting inside the cell here. Now you also may be thinking, why do we need to know this difference? All the sodium outside, all the potassium inside. And the second thing is, how does this concentration gradient get established? How does all the sodium get outside? How does all the potassium get inside? Well, this is where we start talking about the sodium potassium ATPase pump. What happens is, like I said, Embedded in the membrane of your cells is a pump that uses ATP as energy to throw three sodium out of the cell and throw two potassium into the cell. And as you can see, as this pump is working, it starts to create a gradient where there's a huge amount of sodium building up outside and a huge amount of potassium building up inside. All right, why do our cells do this? Why do we dedicate so much energy in our body to this pump to establish this gradient. Well, let's have a look. First of all, let's look at why it's so important for the heart. When we use the sodium potassium ATPase pump, we are throwing, like I said, we've got that pump and we're throwing three sodium outside of the cell and we're throwing two potassium into the cell. Now, when this happens, what we're actually establishing is a whole bunch of sodium outside. That means now, with all the sodium outside the cell, diffusion wants to occur. Diffusion is the movement of these types of solutes or ions down their concentration gradient. If we've got heaps of sodium outside, where does it want to go? It wants to go inside the cell. Now luckily, we've got some proteins that help take this sodium and throw it inside the cell. What it does is it will throw three sodium back into the cell, and what it will do is it will exchange those three sodiums for a calcium ion. And so now what we've got is all this calcium building up outside the cell. Why is this important for heart muscle? Well, it's important because calcium is required for muscular contraction. When calcium is inside of a muscle cell, the muscle cell will contract. If we throw it outside the cell, the muscle cell will relax. This means establishing a bunch of sodium outside the cell means that when it jumps inside the cell, it can be exchanged for calcium and the heart muscle can relax. This is so important for allowing our heart muscle to take a break before its next contraction. You want a healthy, happy contraction of a heart? You need sodium potassium ATPase pumps. Okay, what about the brain? That's what I've drawn up here. It may not look like it. What does the brain need the sodium potassium ATPase pump? throwing that three sodium outside the cell, throwing the two potassium inside the cell. Well, what this actually establishes is a charge difference. If you've got three positive things outside and two positive things inside, it's a little bit more positive outside the cell than inside the cell. In addition to that, we've got some leaky channels here that allow for potassium to leak out. Now, if potassium starts to leak out a little bit, it makes it even more positively charged outside of our neurons, our brain cells, compared to inside. That means we've now established not just a chemical gradient from outside in, but we've also established an electrical gradient from outside in. It's this electrical chemical gradient that allows neurons to send signals. Why? Because we'll open up some sodium channels that are embedded in our neurons, 
This allows sodium to rush into the cell. Sodium is positive, takes the positive charge with it. That is the electrical signal we send through our neurons. Okay, why is the sodium potassium ATPase pump important for our kidneys? Well, it's important because when we take that sodium potassium ATPase pump, throwing three sodium outside the cell, chucking two potassium inside the cell, what we've now done is again establish the fact that the cells of our kidneys are nearly empty of sodium. That means when our blood filters sodium coming in to the kidneys, as they move through the tubes of the kidneys, it sees, hey, these cells have no sodium in them. I wanna jump in, go down my chemical gradient. When they jump into the cells, they can then jump back out into the body. This is the way that our kidneys filter everything and then throw 99% of it back in because of the sodium potassium ATPase pump establishing a chemical gradient. This is just three examples of why the sodium potassium ATPase pump is important for you to understand.